you know, finally be free of these karmic cycles. And sorry, so I guess my phone just cut out. So, um, so anyway, what I was saying in the last video is, is yeah, I guess that this is coming out to, um, like this pain is coming up to be purged, to be released, to, um, to end, you know, ending these karmic cycles, ending these, the devil energy, look up the devil tarot card, the patterns that have held you back, the mental patterns, the emotional patterns, whatever it might be, addictions, um, I feel like you're going to be really in like this state of like really um, getting to know yourself over the next couple months more and more like really like putting, you know, there's like a magnifying glass on you right now from the divine, if that makes any sense. But but yeah, it's not a bad thing. It's just it's just you're being asked to 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 release the pain, to feel and acknowledge the pain, to not try to just suppress it anymore, but to really release it to um, maybe do uncrossing clearing work and really just release this pain. Um, so that you can, you know, have this fresh start so that you can have a clean slate so that you can, you know, be free of these karmic patterns and these karmic cycles and go towards, you know, things that are actually going to make you happy, people that are actually going to make you happy, jobs that are actually going to make you happy, um, ways of thinking, ways of being, ways of communicating that are going to be more in alignment with your soul. Maybe some of you were communicating in the past from like a place of, um, like, you know, childhood trauma or mental patterns or whatnot. And now it's like, you're going to be communicating from more like a, from like your higher self, like your soul is trying to come through your higher self is trying to come through and you're going to be just communicating in different ways. You're going to be approaching things in different ways. It's like, you, it's like your soul is trying to come through and get back in touch with you. You know what I mean? It's like your soul is your soul and your spirit guides are like trying to get back in touch with you and get you to listen. And, um, and yeah, so, so you're going to be freeing yourself of these karmic cycles. And like I said, that's, you know, it, it can be hard at times, but just be patient with yourself. Some of you are going through a dark night of the soul, or you're just going through a purging process, doing shadow work. It's, it's a really beautiful thing. Like I said, the pain is coming up. It's not coming up to punish you. It's not coming up for any reason I feel other than to just, you know, be purged and be released finally so that you can clear it out and, um, you know, clear it out to the degree that you can clear it out, of course. And, um, you know, like I said, have like a new, you know, a clean slate, a new start, a new way of thinking, a new way of seeing things, um, you know, ending karmic cycles, ending karmic relationships, ending karmic jobs and anything that was keeping you stagnant. Um, so yeah, it's a process. Um, I'm going to get into these cards now. But th these messages just keep coming through when I do the reading, so I can't help it. I mean, someone needs to hear it, so i got to put it out there. But um, but yeah, be patient with yourself. Trust the process. Um, don't get frustrated with yourself if it, if it doesn't happen overnight. It's one of those things where, like I said, I think the third eye chakra blocks that I'm seeing like those I feel like you know some I'm not I'm not saying you can't clear them up overnight I don't want to put that out there like maybe some of you can but I feel like for a lot of you this really is going to be a process for you learning to trust your intuition again and learning kind of accepting that maybe you were wrong about maybe in the past that you were wrong like accepting that you know maybe family pushed you into that toxic job or that toxic relationship or Maybe you had a way of thinking that you were just, you know, that came from childhood or came from something that maybe you just had like a certain way of thinking and now you're kind of changing your way of thinking. And it's it's okay. It's okay to admit that you were wrong about the past. You know what I mean? I think there's a lot of fear connected to that, but it's okay to just be like, I was wrong about that person or I was wrong about that job. I was wrong about that. Um, like I thought that person was for me and it turns out that they weren't. Um, I thought that that job was for me and it turns out that it wasn't, you know, um, cause it's like, like I said, some of you are being stubborn and holding on to the past just because you're so afraid of, of just admitting that you were wrong and, and, you know, starting over and, you know, changing, or I guess I should say not even, not necessarily changing, but ending karmic cycles that were familiar and comfortable to you. So that you can start a new cycle, but it, it's it's like when you're like ascending. I mean, I, I guess ascending or 
you know, going through this new energy, it, it can be scary and unfamiliar. So, so yeah, just, just be patient with yourself. It's, it's really a process. But yeah, just be willing to admit that that maybe life isn't what you thought it was, or maybe life is going in a different direction than what you thought it was. You know what I mean? Like, as I just feel like, I feel like whatever the toxic thing was, like whatever, because there was something specific that that energy group fought for for a long time. Now, this could be a toxic relationship. This could be like a toxic job in this, or this could be a toxic way of thinking. This could be a combination of things. But I'm getting that like your spirit guides did try to warn you like this wasn't like a lot of you felt like, you know, like, like, hey, like I thought like that was for me. But it's like a lot of you weren't listening to your spirit guides. You weren't listening to your intuition. You were just kind of being stubborn. You were, you know what I mean? It was like all mental, like and you thought that you were following your intuition when really you were just your mind was so powerful that you were just following your mental patterns, your subconscious patterns or whatever it might be. And so some of you stop trusting your spirit guides because of that. But it's like, no, that's not your spirit guide's fault. It's like that was you following those mental patterns, that devil energy, the addictions, um, and not actually listening to your soul, not actually listening to your spirit guides, to your higher self. So it's like, no, like your spirit guides tried to warn you that that relationship was toxic and that it wasn't for you, but you listened to your mind. You know, or they tried to warn you that that job was not for you, but you listened to your mind and you called your mind your intuition, but it was actually just mental patterns. Does that make sense? Or it's like, the you know, like certain ways of thinking where it's like you were like, you know, set in seeing the world a certain way or set in seeing relationships a certain way. But it's like that your spirit guides weren't trying to have that for you. That was, that was you. That was your mind. That was your childhood patterns. That was your, um your fears or you staying in your comfort zone, you, um, you know, not, you know, I'm just saying like some of you have blamed your spirit guides for that. And it's like, it really wasn't their fault. They were trying to get you out of that, but many of you ignore the red flags, but, 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 um, but like I said, be patient with yourself. Those karmic cycles have completed or they're in the process of, of completing and, it's just one of those things where it's like you're going to have a lot of ups and downs and you just have to kind of be patient and you have to realize like your spirit guides really are here to protect you. You know what I mean? Like they really are there to protect you. Some of you might have even shut down your third eye because you might have been around toxic people that had demonic attachments on them and maybe you were afraid of seeing the demonic attack, like not seeing them physically, but like you were like, you didn't want to pick up on that energy. So some of you might have shut down your third eye on someone else's behalf because they had these like lower vibrational energies around them and you didn't want to know, you didn't want to be aware of it. You wanted to pretend like those energies weren't there or it could be like a job where it's like your coworkers are bullying you or whatever. And like your coworkers might be really like just not great people, but it's like, you didn't want to know, you didn't want to see it. So you shut your third eye down. So, so yeah, it's, it's going to, like I said, it's going to be a process learning to trust your intuition again, but, um, you will get there. Even if it's a matter of months, you will get to that point again. It's just, it, like I said, just, I think surrender and just be patient with yourself, be really gentle with yourself. And if you go through ups and downs, just, you know, just, just let things flow. Just go through it. You know what I mean? You're going to, like I said, you're going to be doing shadow work for whoever this is for these people, for this, this group, you're going to be doing shadow work and you're going to have a lot of stuff that's going to come up to be purged. So just feel the pain, release it, clear it as much as you can. Um, don't hold on to it. You know what I mean? Like just let it flow out naturally. And, um, yeah, you know, you're, you're coming, you're, you're, you have this transformation. Look for butterflies too. That's going to be a sign that you're um, going through the transformation. So look for synchronicities, look for numbers, look for butterflies and things like that. But, but yeah, most importantly, just be patient and gentle with yourself. And, um, you know, your spirit guides will start, if you start allowing them back in, they'll start coming back.